welcome back to my channel. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the notification. And the farm actually gets its name because of the stone well that exists here in the front yard. I'll show you. Let's see. Oh, no. Okay. Mm. You see him pala yan? Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's got a glass cover mm -hmm. on it. Uh, for safety reasons. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. Leanne Downey and her husband Tom bought this property in December of 2016 and after extensive renovations they started planting the lavender in May of 2017. Uh -huh. So why don't we head out and check out some What is lavender. this one? Sorry? Pardon me? What is this? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. Over it so to protect this. Oh yes. okay. Did you not listen? Eh? Did she not too? Why did you not listen? Why did you not Okay. We are in the lavender farm. Lavender farm. And they have the sunflowers. What's that? Uh, oh, are we supposed to go in the water? No, that's not water. Plastic. So our 11 o'clock tour has just shown up. So you guys yes. are welcome to go out into the field. Yeah. And I'm going to catch them up and then yeah, yeah. we'll meet by the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Thank, okay you. thank you. What's the water. I'm thirsty already. So give me some water. Can we get the water? Oh. Plastic para hindi magaling yung grass. Uh, yeah. Ano amin yan? Amin na. Tignan nga. Tignan mo Jonas. Smell it. Smell it. Huh? Wala smell. Wala? Wala. My nose is broke. Ay! Mamanda. I see somebody. Ano? I know. Parang bubuli. Bubuli. Oh. It's like a um, chameleon. Where? Over there. Where? Can you show me? I see the thing. It's like a chameleon. Okay. Let's see. 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 May sapin. Para yung, yung ano, yung grass, para sila lang. Ah. Uh. Para yung yung babuli. Para yung yung babuli. Dali, dali. Oh, may nakabil siya. Dali ang mga mo. Para yung yung babuli. May amoy naman. Nakiamoy sa bubuyog eh. Naman their friend. We are at Lavender Farm. It's not even farm. It's a farm. It's a farm. But they didn't find it. They did. Wait! They can't. They know this one is um, owned by their ancestor. Yeah. It's not true. This ancestor. farm started around 1700 centuries. Century! Century. Uh, yeah. This farm. Uh, was what? I don't know. I'm not even a flower was, farmer. It's owned by their ancestor way back in 17th century. I ah, centuries! Century! 17th You guys came on a really good day. Yesterday yeah. it was rainy oh, yeah. and cloudy, yeah. and now today it's really yeah. nice out. He went some flower and then I said, oh, That's yeah, <laughs> and then it's, uh, there's a nearby uh, lavender, so we do it same. All right, so we're going to start off by talking a bit about lavender. So 
There are three types of lavender, commonly known as English, Spanish, and French lavender. And the French lavender is a hybrid between the English and the Spanish. And because it's crossbred, its seeds are sterile, which means that it can only be reproduced by the cuttings. Our first four sheets are all of our French lavender. And the first three sheets are the same cultivar known as Phenomenal. Okay. This sheet is a little bit special because a few English lavenders were planted here by mistake. Mm. And it gives us a great opportunity to take a look at the differences between the two. Right off the bat, you can see that the French lavender grows quite tall, mm -hmm. whereas the English is more short and compact. Oh, okay. Another visual difference is with the stems themselves. So I'll pick two to show you. So French lavender is more cone-shaped. It comes up to a point. Mm -hmm. Whereas the English lavender is more cylindrical. Oh, okay. And French lavender will also have more buds per stem, typically. It. What's really unique about it. lavender? Yeah. I just know. Good. Todo lo que usted habla, ¿usted dice en español? No. ¿Por qué? En italiano. Oh. So, almost there. Almost there. No, no. Yes, yeah, yeah, some. Oh, good. No problem. So, what's really unique about lavender is that the bud will develop and the flower will grow and extrude from that bud, having a slightly different color, usually a lot paler. And then that flower will finish and fall off, leaving behind a bud that now has a seed inside of it. So it'll have a different color at this point. So the field is constantly evolving in its color. What we'll do with that bud is dry it out and distill it for oil. And the oil exists on these tiny hairs on each bud that contain oil glands. So when you rub the buds between your fingers, the oil is released. And that oil also contains camphor. So camphor is a chemical that gives the lavender its iconic lavender scent. And it's a defense mechanism used by the plant. So it's uh, kind of the opposite of a rose or a lilac bush. They use their scent to alert pollinators to it. But the lavender uses its scent specifically to repel predators like deer and rabbits who don't like the taste of camphor because it tastes like soap. Mm -hmm. So we'll head over and check out our English lavender now. And you can follow me. You remember this is French and more colorful. Also white, white muna siya pagka na. Ano yun? White. Kaling ano. Yes, sir. Huh? They should be a rabbit. So here we have all of our English lavender. Yeah, that's not the same. These two sheets are the same cultivar known as Royal Velvet. And then the tail end of this sheet is actually a different cultivar known as Folgate. And the Folgate is actually the first to bloom in the season. So about a month ago, the Folgate was the only purple section on the field and everything else was green, but now everything is sort of evened out. This here is a white lavender known as Melissa. Um, it's kind of a little known fact that lavender does have different colors. Yeah. yeah. Um, so there's white, there's yellow, and there's also a red as well. I got the only Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> I did too before I started working here. <laughs> Um, so we're talking a lot about the differences between the English and the French lavender, right? Mm -hmm. Another huge difference is the oil content and the content of camphor. So the French lavender oil has, or the French lavender produces uh, three times as much oil and then ten times as much camphor. So this makes it way more popular for the bath and beauty product industry where they mm -hmm. want a lot of oil and a lot of scent. And it also makes it so that the English lavender is a lot more expensive because you need a bunch more plants to make the same amount of oil. What's really good to know about camphor, however, is that the camphor level in the French lavender oil is a little bit too strong for our skin. So if you put it directly on your skin, it could enter your bloodstream and affect your endocrine system, which has to do with your hormones. So it's really important to dilute the French lavender oil. Um, and you can do that with coconut oil, salt, water in your bath, and that'll make it perfectly safe for your skin. Um, but the English lavender is good to go. It's perfectly edible and safe. Um, and what's really, really awesome about lavender is that it's scientifically proven to reduce anxiety, help with muscle tension, headaches, and sleep. And the best way to receive those benefits is through aromatherapy. So you can inhale the lavender oil molecule and it'll interact with your nervous system to calm it. Do you have any questions so far? Okay. Mm -hmm. How long do the plants take to grow them? Yeah, more relaxing. Yeah, so these plants mm. are about four years old. This is what we have. Like a pretty good size. Yeah, you see? 
Yeah, they like it, you know. So we'll gather around here when everyone's ready. Yeah. Um, but you can see here that all of this lavender has already been harvested. Oh. Year. So you have to cut one by one. Yeah, so there's actually a point in the season where there's like a bunch of baby sprigs mm -hmm. and then there's ones that are fully mature that are ready to be cut. Mm -hmm. So about two weeks ago, we were actually cutting with scissors only certain Chisou? parts of the plants to make oh. bundles. Yeah. Well, but now we're at a point where we can do big cuts like this. Mm -hmm. So I about in the winter, so... Yeah, so in the winter, this would have a big white tarp over it to keep it safe. Well, oh, okay. cover it, do you? Yeah, we do cover it. So this is my favorite part of the tour and it's because I get to show off this. Ooh, that's a nice. <laughs> so this is a Look at it. Site. It Look was purchased in Provence at an antique market. And this is what they would use to harvest hundreds of acres of lavender in the old it's days. More, please, yeah. So I'm going to show yeah. you how to use this. Essentially, what you want to do is grab up all of the lavender yeah. in your bundle, just I'm like this, and we then just chop it. Oh. So it's super, super sharp, even though it doesn't look like it. Yeah. So you already know what it is. Yeah, and we used to. Way to do so you're an experience. And then now this is the more advanced way to do it exactly. Yeah. So this is just your classic handheld hedge trimmer. Uh, we'll go in with something a bit bigger and heavier than this so that we can do one big swoop. This battery. Um, but I'll show you how to use this one. It's kind of the same idea. You grab all your lavender and then it's a button and a button. And you get a much cleaner cut and it's typically yeah. much faster as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now that we've harvested it this lavender, we will tie an elastic band around it and then hang it upside down for about two weeks. Two weeks. This lets the plant dry out and it also lets all of the oil from the stem seep into the buds, getting it ready for the distillation process. So if you're interested in any of our oils, our buds, our lavender products, you can come meet me in the store. So if you go around the greenhouse, there's just a door beside the two garage doors and I'd be happy to show you everything that we have. Okay. Um, are there any questions before I leave you to take photos? Mm -hmm. oh, so, awesome. So you're free to take pictures? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, you're free to take pictures for the next little while. Uh, we do have another tour coming in at 1. Um, and the store will close uh, around 12.30. And just so I can take my lunch. <laughs> okay. um, so we do ask that you stay on the grass and don't take the lavender just to not disturb the oh. okay, nah. They smell it. Mm. Yeah. You can, they smell it. We can go that side, yeah. Then turn. No, we can you can pass right here. You can. They said don't take it. No, I just smell it. This is the French. Bata lang amoy ito. Hindi naman karaming mabuyo ito. Ah, B. Maybe you like them. Hi, Jonas. Hello, lavender. This is English lavender. Si Gessing Hote nyo, pati B. Sing Hote nyo sa ilong. Hahaha.